What's up, guys? This is Daria, and we're back again for another Kaiju Cinematic Destruction. This time, we have Crazy Rich Asians. Let's get into this. If Nick chose me, he would lose his family. And if he chose his family, he might spend the rest of his life resenting you. You nasty, you got a nasty, you got nastier. <laughs> crazy rich Asians. These Asians be crazy and they crazy rich. Yeah. No, are you trying to make a joke? No, I'm just, I'm directed by by see I, I had the name i had the name you threw me off directed by john chu starring constance Wu and henry golding we follow rachel chu a new york uh, professor at nyu a professor of econ uh, economics at nyu going to visit her boyfriend's family in singapore and having to deal with all the idiosyncrasies and the culture shock that exists therein because Surprise, surprise, her boyfriend's family is, say it with me, class, crazy rich. Yeah, they're crazy rich, but they also come from a rich heritage and heritage of a background. Yeah. Versus Rachel Chu, who does not. Yes, yes. It's uh, it's actually, uh, it came out this Wednesday. We didn't get a chance to see it when it came out, but we saw it uh, this Friday after we saw that... Mile 22. Well, let's not speak about that. Yeah, we're not We're not going to speak about that. Because we're going to focus on these Asians that are crazy rich. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm, I'm going to keep saying it. Because I love saying crazy rich Asians. It's fun. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Based off the best-selling book, we follow Constance Wu in her journey. And she does... A, the, way that this, the way that this movie is written is actually perfect. Because not only do we get to see uh, her deal with her own culture shock and her own feelings of being an outsider she plays uh, the perfect role of being our uh our na uh, our navigator into their culture yeah into into a lot of uh, a lot of things that we were uh most likely previously just tangentially aware of and we get to see uh, the importance of heritage the importance of family yeah. through her eyes and something that she doesn't really get a chance to because her her mother is a single mother her father uh, died before she was born and that becomes a point of contention later on in the movie but right now what we have is a pretty damn good rom I don't usually like rom-coms I usually don't I usually don't this but this was, was good a, yeah this, this was, was actually a good. pretty good one this actually really told a nice story yes and I appreciate it the story that they told and you're right yeah they do give you an insight or a difference between the heritage versus one heritage and where they came from and their background to another heritage and where they came from in their background yeah it's it's, it's it comparing the, the old money to the the poor immigrant yeah that was uh Rachel Chu's family yeah uh, the only problem i really have with this movie was the fact that it starts off incredibly slow it's not bad but it, it takes a while for it to build up because everything is just kind of sort of there uh with the story well I, I just don't a know. little bit for I, I don't know i might have to disagree just a little bit okay because even the beginning intro was nice and no, that it was, was a little nice. humorous. I just said it was And slow. then even to when they were trying to spread the word of what was going on, that was even a little funny. But I understand what you were saying, that you felt that it kind of took off a little slow until we met her best friend in Singapore, who, guess what, was also what? Crazy Rich. There you go. Yeah. And she Crazy was, rich. and she, I loved her. So she was awesome. So as we said, it, it took, it takes a while for it to like, to, for the comedy to hit like hard enough for me to to really like enjoy it the way that I wanted to it took a just took a little bit like you know maybe about 20 minutes or so uh but w but when it does it, it comes through uh it comes through pretty pretty well uh her as as we said she meets up with her friend who uh from college played by Aquafina uh and her father played by Ken Jong <laughs> 
they kill this. They they, yeah. they they kill it the very second that they get on the screen. Yeah. They, they do a damn good job. Their 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 brand of comedy is refreshing. That that's what it is. It's refreshing. Yeah, it's, it's very refreshing. refreshing. It's it's not it's not so over the top or in your face that it gets exhausting. It it it's like getting that little bit of uh, accent. Yeah. To, to something that's pretty good because the story by itself is, is is good enough but like that 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 little accent that that her friend's family brings to the uh, to the proceedings is perfect for this movie and when it takes off it takes off and it becomes much more enjoyable yeah. and, I'm, and I'm happy to see it and I'm ha- I'm hoping it does well because you you know you know how it is when it comes to movies with representation if if it does well then hey you get more of it if it doesn't then hey you know those Asian movies don't sell well. Yeah. That sucks, but still, this is this is this is this is pretty fun. Um, later on, she meets more of, of the family, and there's there's a greater contention between uh, her uh, Rachel Chu and the matriarch of the family, played by ooh, uh, damn, I'm trying to figure out remember her name. Well, basically, she was the grandmother. No, uh, Michelle Yeo, Eleanor. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, her boyfriend's mother. There, there's a lot of back and forth between it, and it it doesn't hit the point where it becomes like a cartoonish villain. It's no. subtle. It is so subtle to the point where it gets uncomfortable, but like the good kind of uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. She played her part. She was enjoyable. Yeah. She was enjoyable. I'm sorry. She kicked it. She did. She 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 kicked. She I was kicked like, man. some ass. Cause like she would she would end up complimenting her one second. Yeah. And then just undercut her. Yeah. And you want that relationship to grow between the two, but it just never seems to catch hold. And it's enough to keep you captivated. Yeah, and she also kind of plays on your intelligence a little bit. Oh, yeah. By giving a compliment, and then you're just kind of like, okay, I don't know if I should say thank you or if I should just be insulted, because what the hell, dude? What, like, really? There's a lot of that going on. Yeah. There's a lot of that going on. There's a, there's a lot going on in this movie when it comes down to it, because it's not just that story. We got, uh, a no. couple of, we got a couple of subplots that are actually pretty interesting that don't detract from it. It actually kind of adds yeah. to um, to the bouquet of characters, because there, yeah. there, there are a lot of characters to try to keep track of, but it's not daunting. It's not, no, as it's I said, not. it's not exhausting. No. It, it's, pretty, it's pretty well done. Um, you know, there's really not much more to say about it aside from, you know, go ahead and give it a watch. Yeah. Because aside from that, that slow down in the beginning of the movie, there's really nothing, nothing negative to say about this. Like there, there are moments in here where if you, if you don't have to fight back the tears, you must be a stone person. Because I don't know what, I don't know what movie you're watching. Yeah. It's, it plays heavily on your heartstrings on a couple of scenes. Uh, that's what this thing is. It's, it's a beautifully shot movie too. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Like this the, the the scenery is great, the the video like everything is just perfect. And it it makes you want to sit in this in this theater and watch it. Yeah. It does. It's very colorful. It it's, it's very, very colorful. But anyway, as I said, there's not much more to say about this movie aside from a great 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 D, please give me your score. I will give Crazy Rich Asians a 4. Yeah, a 4? Yeah. Yeah, you, you almost get it. Like, what, what what would make it a five for you? Oh, God. Um, I don't know. I guess I would still have liked to have seen the relationship, the relationship between the boyfriend's mom and the, you know, main character of the story. That still would have been nice. Constance Wu's character? Yeah. That still would have been nice and would have probably given me, I would have given it five stars. But I understand the subtlety of it, and it's kind of just like unspoken, and it's just that respect. Yeah, she kind of plays like a mini boss in a video game. Yeah, like, like, where where you start seeing her in the wings, yeah. and you're only gonna get like a few encounters, and when you do, you only get like that one chance to get a good hit on her. Yeah, she kind of plays like that a little bit because she's because yeah. it's she's not a constant in in the story. No, between, she's not. Between uh, uh, him and her, between the him boyfriend and, and, and Rachel. Yeah, no, yeah. she's not. But when she is, 
she plays that role. Oh, yeah. She plays it pretty well. Yeah. So, you know, I, I have to give it four stars. Okay. Okay. I'll give it four. I, I gotta go. I gotta go for four. I gotta agree with you for four. Um, my again, my I gave my biggest issue. My biggest issue was it. It was kind of slow at the beginning, uh, for me, a little bit slow. Uh, but not slow enough to you know drive me out of the theater. But it was. It took a little bit to get going. Um, beyond that, like they they did a good enough job by bringing in characters that were kind of, you know douchebags yeah but they they also did a good enough job of getting them right the hell out of there right yeah so like they were there for like that okay you're here for that couple of lines okay yeah, yeah you're a douchebag nobody likes you and get the hell on yeah and they it, it was good enough to make you go it's like haha yeah so I, I i've had i've had friends like that i've had quote-unquote friends like that who are just kind of dicks and yeah, douchebags. Yeah. But just like that, it's like you, you go in there, you kind of feel like this obligation and you see that with Nick and that, and Nick, Nick needed something like that because without having, you know, previous experiences and previous uh, relationships shown, Nick is kind of vanilla. Uh, Nick is kind of vanilla. He doesn't have a lot yeah, of funny spots by himself. Yeah, I see what you're but, saying. But like he plays off of off of his past experiences and his past relationships. Yeah. So that was good. That was good to me. But again, it took a while to, to get jumping off. So you know what? I, I'll give it a four. Four is good. Four is good. Four is good. I, I say go see it. I say go see it too. Go see it. Go see it. It's going to be fun. Uh, take the whole family because it's like nothing nothing really bad or raunchy to, no, to worry about. No, not really. Not really. It's, yeah. it's actually a family movie. It's, yeah. it's really enjoyable. It's nice. It's subtle. It's it's a lot of information regarding the Asian heritage, which I really, really appreciate and love. Yeah. It, it, it makes me want to learn more. Yeah. Yeah. Like it doesn't give you like the, the, the totality of the experience because you can't. No. The, yeah. No movie it's is ever going to give for that. you that. Yeah. yeah. But it, it's enough to to feel like it does it justice. Yeah, it, it gives you just enough a, it gives you just enough of a story that you understand and you're just kind of like, "Huh, I kind of want to look more into that." I, I think I think what it is is you don't feel like a tourist. You're, yeah. You don't feel like you're being taken on a tour by no. some somebody on the outside saying, "Hey, this is what we feel it's about." Yeah. It feels like you're taking a look at somebody's actual experiences, however fringe it may be to be crazy rich. Yeah. But you know, it still yeah. works. It, it still it works. It makes you feel like you're a part of the family. Yeah. Although you're not, but you are. Yes. If yes. that makes any sense. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, go ahead and see it. Uh, you got anything more to say? No, go see Crazy Rich Asians. Yeah. You will not be disappointed. Go see these Asians that are crazy rich. We'll catch you later. Oh my God, Deuces. so not a joke. Wow. Deuces. <laughs>